going to introduce a new character to the TV show. This is Tyler. Tyler is such a nice guy. Uh, he works at a local museum uh, and he reached out to me and he said, hey, I go to this historic church at 18th and Diamond. It's the Church of the Advocate. Uh, it's the only French style. Yes, uh, exact French Gothic replica. It's the only French Gothic replica church in the city of Philadelphia. And also in the United States too. In, in the United States. Uh, it was the first church to ordain, the Episcopal church, to ordain women That's way it. back in the 1970s. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, uh, this church was a memorial to this gentleman, George W. South, who is buried below. So we're going to take a little tour, a little look see loo around this church. Tyler's going to be our guy and he's going to show us around. This amazing, amazing church that is in such bad shape. We need help. We're going to figure out a way to fix this church. Yes. Tyler, show us the way. Yeah, Just going through these doors. Uh -huh. What's up? Welcome to Church of the Advocate. It was built from 1887 to 1897. When it was first completed, newspapers all over the United States said it was the greatest example of French Gothic architecture in the United States. And I mean, just really just take a look around. You really can't see any other church that really looks like this anywhere really in the US. Now, I, when I parked outside, I saw the spears outside and it reminded me of the Cathedral of Notre Dame, which caught on fire a few months, eight, like six months ago. Yes. That church received a billion dollars in one day to get, get itself back up and going. This church is in a very bad shape and it has netting all around to catch any plaster that's fallen. Uh, there's, you're, you're gonna see a leak with water just pouring through. This is, what, what angel was this? Uh, this is Gabriel. Angel Gabriel. Now, Angel Gabriel is made of... That's copper. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's copper. Yeah, copper. You know, we, we could recycle Angel Gabriel, <laughs> fix that hole in the roof. <laughs> That'd be a lot of money right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, uh, this was on top of the roof. It's raining right now. If I can, I'll run outside and I'll do an outside shot. I'll walk around. But this uh, was on the roof in the 70s. It had to come down because uh, there's no net big enough to catch a copper angel. Uh, now, it, it's a traditional church. It's still open for service. But the congregation, like all churches, is getting smaller and smaller. There's about 20 people per Sunday, which is nowhere enough to keep up the... You can't, you can't, like paying for the electric right now, the 20 people, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, and this, this is the baptismal fount yes. where Tyler himself was baptized as the baby. They picked him up with his beard and they, <laughs> they dipped him in here. Um, this is probably the original baptismal yeah, fount. The original baptismal fount from 1897. And if you could take a look, this is probably the best example. These windows are from England. Uh, they're from the 1800s, and since the other windows are blocked by netting, these are the best ones that we're going to see inside. And you can look at the artwork and the detail, and they are fantastic works of art. The sculptures going around, like, it's kind of dark in here, but if you can see the angels and the, the, the little cherubs, it, it, it's beautiful in here. And just look at the archways, and look, I, I'm like Bob Veal, look at this. <laughs> so, all right, what else are we going to see? Oh, back in the 70s, you know, there was social unrest in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, the Black Panthers met here, what year? Uh, throughout the 60s and 70s. And this, this tells the story about how all the Black Panthers met here. Yes. Um, it, so, yeah, this was the um, national, this was the Philadelphia chapter of the Black Panthers. This was the headquarters right here. Mm -hmm. In the year 1970 and 1971, this was the convention of the Black Panthers. They hosted it right here. In the church? In the church, yes. That's awesome. So yeah, many famous people like uh, Angela Davis, Stokely Carmichael, all like the famous black radicals at the time met here. They were personal friends with the rector whose name was Paul Washington. And that's Paul Washington, Paul right, Washington here, right here. Yes. Who was the, 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 you said he was the driving force with the, uh, I guess the women becoming ministers. Yeah, so uh, in the year 1974, he saw that not only were black people being discriminated against, he also saw that women were also discriminated against. So he wanted uh, women to serve in the church. So here in 1974 was an illegal ordination of women to the Episcopal Church. And the first women to give 
sermons yes. in the Episcopal Church used this pulpit. And look at the art, right? Yep, they didn't yeah. use that pulpit. This pulpit here. And these guys here, um, you, what, what, what was the term you used? Yeah, they are called doctors of the church. Doctors of the church. But they don't look like doctors. They look more like saints. <laughs> I'm Catholic, so, uh, you know, I think one of these guys might be Bishop White. That's, that may be Bishop White right here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, doctors of the church are famous Catholics and also Anglicans and Episcopalians who donated, who dedicated their life to raise up the church. Almost like saints, but not saintly just yet. They are respected. Right. They, 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 they did some good things they did for good the church. Things, yes, you know, we're going to go up. Why not? You know? Oh, they got a little thing here. Pastor Day. And you go up here. Here we are. Oh, look at this. I once gave a church sermon. Uh, at a uh, Methodist church and I said Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday and I quoted Hillbilly Jim the wrestler I said uh, Thanksgiving is everything that Christmas should be spending time with your family eating dinner celebrating and love and no stress about presents and now I just did it here isn't that great that's a very good view yeah, you can see it in the video what is that yeah this is like right here that's oh. a very, you're going to see it in the video. It's a very good view. Here I am sitting here, rambling, rambling, rambling. <laughs> we got it. I tell you, we got to do something to save this church. Yeah. Beautiful stained glass window, and it's blocked by that net. We got to, and the, the congregation so small. They have this beautiful altar, um, but uh, the people who go here are elderly. So the pastor, uh, what's the pastor's name right now? Her name is Renee. Renee. Pastor Renee, Renee, Renee uh, stands here and talks to the congregation. Here's our little pulpit. She, I guess maybe on Easter she goes up there. I know. I would go up there every chance I could. And the, 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 the choir is just this this little six six people where they used to have these beautiful rows. There's a pipe organ. This and this this altar is beautiful. So when the church was built, it would have fit about a thousand people, and the church used to hold about a thousand people. It had a thousand congregants until things started to dwindle in the 1950s. 1950, yeah. and that was basically. Uh, racial tension. Racial tension, but from day one, it was also racial tension as well. Uh, the church, when it was first built, it was supposed to be the Episcopal Cathedral of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. but the neighborhood wasn't uh, Episcopal. It was German Baptist and German Jewish, mm -hmm. and they decided they didn't want their church to be in a majority German Jewish neighborhood. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Why would you so have a church? So they decided just to make it a regular parish church, not the cathedral anymore. And 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 we were we were talking. This place has an organ, but now they just use a, an electric yeah, a piano. Yeah. And uh, Christ Church, which is an Episcopal church, is also a historical landmark. Uh, got two million dollars for an organ. Uh, this place, you know, it doesn't. So what? George Washington didn't go to church here. The building itself is, I would say, uh, more of a oh my gosh yeah. than uh, Christ Church. Speaking of George Washington, the most famous congregant here at the church was John Coltrane. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, John Coltrane used to come here. He actually performed a Love Supreme here. Get out of here. Yeah, that was the debut of the Love Supreme. He performed it right here. His house is in His house is like It's further down. It's like a few blocks down. Oh, yeah. It's right off of Diamond, I think. I think my, bu my, buddy, my buddy wants to, wanted to go there <laughs> last week. Oh, another cool thing about the altar. Uh -huh. uh, before it was installed here in the church, mm -hmm. it was actually on display at Memorial Hall for a while. So oh, it's for the centennial. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that that's and that's all hand carved. And look at the the gold uh, mosaic. Yeah. mosaic back there. Yeah. Yeah, it's going. So that right there will have been the bishop's chair. As you can see they have the bishop's uh, mitre. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that glass mosaic. Is that glass or is that that might be real gold? Yeah. And there they are, the Last Supper, the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> uh, Let's go do the back real quick and show, show that order. So, like I said, I, I, I didn't know anything about this church until Tyler hit me up. Um, and if you got a church or anything historic that you want to see, that you want people to know about, my Facebook page is at the bottom. Just hit me up. And then when, once, once I get a free second, I'll be there. That looks like Teddy Roosevelt up there. It does look made in England by a company called Clayton Bell. Uh -huh. And Clayton Bell was responsible for also doing preservation work on Westminster Abbey. Oh. And, yeah, and Canterbury. So yeah, they got the real big guys to do the glass here. Yeah, it says it now. I'm gonna put the uh, the website to this church in in the link in the description. And it tells you about the history of the yeah. the, the, the the Gothic revival, the the, the architecture, uh, the, the, everything is in, in there. It's a really 
awesome history of Philadelphia. Now here, look at this. It, it must have stopped raining, but you can see the water in there. It's dripping down. There's a, 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 a gargoyle. gargoyle. I love that cartoon on Easter. I go to church on Easter. I don't know why I go. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a religious guy, but I like to go to church on Easter. It's just something I like to do. I like I'm, I'm an Easter Christmas person myself. I, I like the songs. Yeah. I get to hear them once in a while. Uh, people think I'm crazy, but I tell you what's sad. Whenever you see a church using fake flowers, that means something's in trouble with that church. You got to help that church out, or at least bring real flowers. And this was what? What was this? Uh, this was the priest office. The priest office. So you want to need a counseling, confession, and would come right after. Oh, you guys do confession? They used to. Uh, because what church used to do it. You guys don't do confession no more. No, no. At least. The seventies changed that. And it was the, the guy from the church that yeah. changed it. Yeah. Uh, and you can see outside the window. Oh, it's definitely not right. So we did that. But, uh, uh, and then we, we were looking. You got that flashlight on? Look at this picture they have. Who knows? If you know what that building is, let us know because we're trying to figure it out. I bet you that's over in England. Probably. Look at the cop. Yeah. Huh. Now, I'm pretty sure these are original too from the 1800s. 1800s. Yeah. Oh, wait, is that Christchurch? Let's see what it is. Yeah, uh, it is. It is Christchurch. Yeah, it is Christchurch. Huh. Yeah, it's the steeple. Now, nowadays, the steeple would be leaning to the left. Yeah. But they're going to tear down. Right. And, it, nice. and this this one really is. Yeah. And that's the thing about Philadelphia. Philadelphia is notorious for tearing down historic buildings, old buildings. So we're trying to. Oh, one more thing. Look at this. Uh, uh oh. Look how small people were back then. Look at that staircase. Where does this go then? Uh, up to the roof. Up? Into the uh, attic. The, uh, space. I could. I can't even. I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy though. I'm 2 220. And you're a big guy too. So yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're building a little, little thick. Even when I was a kid, I could. But that's so all right well let's uh what else what else is there oh let's do it yep. so the, there, there's a crypt downstairs there's families that are buried below at this church george south himself uh is buried here he's the gentleman that this church was built in memory of and here we go probably nobody's ever been down here uh, to make a, a video before right no, no one Lord's one uh, and 32 people will see it. So here's the uh, crypt. And this so, is the... Yeah, WWS, William Wallace Sylvester. He was the very first priest of this church. Okay. Back when it opened up. Uh, he was actually the priest since 1887. 1887. Yes. And this is Charles. He, was, he, he only lived a little bit. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Probably a piece of plaster fell on for the church service. And this is pretty cool. This is a, a, a machine, or I guess it's a machine. Yeah. And what they would do is they would lower the coffin. I guess for the crypt, they would just use yeah, that for the crypt. Yeah. But that doesn't make sense. There's only nine. There's like what? And the first that, that seems like a waste. Yeah. Well, remember, it was, it was going to be the cathedral, so I'm pretty sure they would have more space. Uh, more yeah. room. And this guy here. Yep. George W. South. His entire family now here, his in-laws up here. And now when this was originally built, like I said before, it was supposed to be the cathedral of uh, the Episcopal Church. So the original plan was to have Bishop White and all the other Episcopal bishops to work uh, uh, Bishop White, keep going. Bishop White is the guy, Bishop White is the guy who's buried at the altar of Christ Church. So they were going to move him from Christ Church to put him here. So think about that. That's how historic. That's how important this church was the second it was built. And they have artwork talking about uh, the uh, struggle uh, the African American community went through from slavery all the way up to the seventies. Yes. And uh, so my favorite one is the one of uh, Frederick Douglass. This is right down here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it really shows them, you know, as a liberated people, you know. He was born into slavery, but died one of the greatest orators ever. Mm -hmm. So it's really an inspirational story. And there's, there he is right there. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass. 
Huh? See, God wanted us to walk around the outside. And, and if you see up there, you see those, ah, the sun, the sun's not going to help you. You're going to see the sun. You're like, what am I, what am I looking at? <laughs> but you can see the uh, architecture, those spears look just like uh, 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 the spears. Now they were made of wood at yeah. the Notre Dame, but, but still ours would last longer if we took care of it. And you see like the little cherubs and the faces carved in. And this is mostly what, college kids live around here? College kids and you still have a lot of community members as well. Okay. But, you know, college kids, we don't miss our stuff. <laughs> no, no, college yeah, kids, yeah. college kids and I, oh, we got a historical marker. Where are we at? Oh, we got seven. That means. <laughs> Isn't it funny how the stained glass only looks beautiful from the inside? Yeah, well, they had to put up their protective glass because, especially during the women's ordinations, people threatened to fire on the church or throw rocks at the windows. So they had to put the protections up to protect them. That's not All right, where we at? We got. I never. I, I usually do this by myself or somebody. I, I really don't know Tyler, so this is me singing. And everybody out singing a song. Does this historical marker belong? Church of the Advocate. Here in 1974, the first eleven women of the Episcopal priests were ordained. The noted Gothic Revival Church built in 1887-1897, we know that, Tyler told us, served a growing African community, African community after 1930. Host to major black power events of the 60s and 70s, National Historic Landmark. Well, why don't we treat it like a National Historic Landmark and fix it up, Tyler? Absolutely. Right? So this, this uh, I mean, now, I, I, the first thing I saw was the pentagram, and that, that doesn't mean Satan. Calm down. That's what <laughs> it means. What did what, you say? Deity. 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 Yeah. What hell is that? God. God. That's a symbol for God, not Satan. You metalhead, stop it. But, uh, but it's a beautiful church, though. I just, what do you do? Uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of money put in it, but what do you get out of it? That's why a lot of people aren't putting so much money into it, but... I'm really mean. You have a lot of people out there who are architectural enthusiasts who right. this stuff. So who don't know about this. Who don't know about it. Right. So definitely there has to be somebody out there. To so uh, if you are out there and you are an architect nut and you like French, you like that stuff, uh, there's a link. Help them out. If you are a history buff, if you are a history buff and, and, and you want to save, preserve a part of American history, there's a link below. Help them out. There's a donate button. Just whatever you can do. We got it. Some things you got to save, like Ben Franklin's house. They tore it down because the grandkids didn't like him like, so much because yeah. uh, you know, he was fooling around on the wife. But idiots, you should have saved that. Now we just have a steel beam. We don't want a steel beam of this. We want this. We need to save this. If I can, let me show the oh, yeah, yeah. before if it shows up on the video. That's what it looked like if you seek. Can you zoom in? Yeah. yeah, that's the angel that we saw. There's the bell tower that's no longer there. I tell you, so that's it. That's the Church of the Advocate. This was Tyler. Uh, Tyler, I, I hope you come back. Uh, Tyler, like I said, he works at a local museum. So if you see him, say hi. Um, if you uh, if you got any more spaces like this, this is awesome. How many churches you go to? Just this one. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I'm done with you then. This is it. Uh, but if you got a spot you want me to see, or if you got a spot that you think the city of Philadelphia should know about let me know in the comments or whatever uh i guess that's it uh tyler thank you so much for taking me and you know what since you're in the video you, you get to say it toodles